on. Good morning, my name is Gizal. I'm an associate with Pollock Pollock, Isaac and DeSico. I'm here today to discuss the new Homeland Security rule regarding public charge that they are considering implementing in the United States. Now many of you might wonder what that means. What is a public charge? A public charge is someone that is going to be primarily dependent on government benefits. People who are not self-sufficient, people who require government assistance to survive. Now this rule makes it significantly more strict for people to be considered public charges when they are applicants for an immigration benefit such as a green card. Now who is subject to a public charge determination of inadmissibility and who makes the determination? The people who are subject to public charge determinations of inadmissibility are people who are applicants for a green card. People who already have a green card are not going to be affected by this new rule unless they travel, leave the United States, and are away from the United States for more than 180 days then they might be subject, but if you travel for less than 180 days and you have a green card, you're ordinarily not going to be subject to the new rule. Now who makes the determination? The people who adjudicate the green cards. The people who adjudicate the immigrant visas at the Department of State consular offices and the green card adjudicators at the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. Who is exempt? There are a number of people from, who are exempt from the public charge determinations of inadmissibility. The primary categories that are exempt are people who have received DACA, Deferred Action, for people who came to the United States as minors, as well as humanitarian categories. Specifically, Many of those will be refugees, and people who received asylum are exempt from the public charge. If you receive asylum and then later apply for a green card, this public charge rule would not apply to you. There are also some non-immigrant categories, including the U visa for victims of crime and T visa holders who have uh, victims of trafficking will also not be subject to the public charge rule. People who apply for visas at the consulate may not be subject, however the Department of State has its own guidance for who is considered a public charge. Now, what factors do officials consider in their determination of inadmissibility based on public charge issues? One of those factors is age, as well as health, family status, assets and resources, education and skills, and whether there's been an affidavit of support. So importantly, just just having the affidavit of support which is submitted by the alien sponsor in the United States, it used to be sufficient on its own to show that somebody wasn't going to be a public charge. Now this is just one factor that is used along with others including age and health and education to determine whether someone is likely to be a public charge. The USCIS can consider whether somebody may have a lack of employability. That is a heavily weighted factor in considering an individual to be a public charge, as well as previous findings of being a public charge, current receipt of a public benefit, or a history of having received a public benefit within the last 36 months. These are all factors that you should 
take into consideration as heavily weighted factors that could show someone is a public charge. On the other hand, a history of employment, for example, a history of steady empo employment and having a good education and having particular skills that would allow you to be employed as well as an affidavit of support would all help in in helping you push back against any potential public charge determination. Now what is an affidavit of support? An affidavit of support has always been required. It's filed under form I-864 for family-based benefits. It is form, it is form I-864 and it is submitted by an alien's sponsor, for example, in spousal adjustment cases, it would be filed by the U.S. citizen spouse, and it would show that the U.S. citizen sponsor has the ability to, to guarantee this person's self-sufficiency in the United States, and it was meant to guard against public charge in admissibility. Now, as I mentioned in the past, it was sufficient on its own to rebut a public charge in admissibility. Now it is just one factor. As you will law office, what we would do is we would consider having that affidavit of support. We would consider the amount of support that affidavit of support provides, and we would consider all the other factors and come to a determination whether we believe public charge is likely to be an issue in your case. If you believe public charge may apply to you, please feel free to reach out to our law office to discuss the matter further and we will gather the information and advise you accordingly. Now, if public charge is determined, can it be overturned? It is very complicated overturning a decision by USCIS relating to public charge. Now, under the new policy of USCIS, when green card applicants are denied, they are frequently put into removal proceedings. When you are in removal proceedings, you will have a, an opportunity to renew that application before an immigration judge, and you would be able to try to overturn an, a public charge determination before the immigration judge. When an individual is not placed into removal proceedings, and there should be relatively few of those going forward, those individuals may be eligible to appeal the determination. They, would, they could file a motion to reopen and reconsider. If it goes beyond that step, please come to our law office to discuss any further actions that may be possible, including possible district court review of the determination. Now, which public benefits are currently considered in the public charge determinations of inadmissibility? Now, public charge considerations include Section 8 housing, Medicaid, SNAP benefits, subsidies for Medicare Part D, which is for prescription drugs, subsidized housing, and any cash assistance for income maintenance. However, for example, if you merely receive some benefits under, under Obamacare, if you have an insurance plan under Obamacare that is subsidized under the Obamacare exchanges that is not part of Medicare or Medicaid, that would not be considered a public charge determination. Now, what is a public charge bond? A public charge bond may be required if an applicant is unable to prove that they won't become a public charge. A bond is set by the Department of Homeland Security and it will be not less than $10,000. It will be a bond that you would have to pay in order to guarantee that you would not be a public charge. 
if you have any questions about this particular issue or any other issues relating to the public charge grounds of inadmissibility and how they have changed versus the past rules, please feel free to reach out to our office. And if, please stay tuned for our future posts regarding other current issues of interest for the immigrant community. Thank you.